Hi, I'm Kieran Mooney, head PGA golf professional here at Redgate Golf Course, owned and operated by the city of Rockville. I'm here today to talk to you about the rules of golf. You need to know the rules of golf when you're playing golf, so it can be a funner experience for you. So we're gonna go through the most commonly um, mistaken rules that people uh, don't quite understand. So we're gonna talk about the first one would be out of bounds. So from a tee box or the ground that you're laying in after a second shot, what would be the penalty if your ball goes out of bounds from either one of those positions? We happen to be standing on the tee box and we have out of bounds all the way down the left side of hole number 14 here at Redgate. And as you can see, we're standing right in front of a white stake. A white stake is an immovable object. You can't take it out of the ground if your club is interfering with your golf swing. It must stay in there. But this is a good example of an out of bounds. It can be marked by either a white line or a white stake. Stakes can be uh, 50 feet apart or 100 feet apart. You draw a line between both stakes and that would be the boundary of the out of bounds mark. I must take a penalty shot, re-tee the ball up from the same area, from the same team ground. I'm now hitting three. If I was laying in the fairway down there after a good first shot and then I proceed to hit it out of bounds, I would then drop the ball where it last was played from and I add another stroke. Okay, so from the teeing ground, you have to take a penalty stroke on top of the one that you hit out, so you're now playing three.